everybody, this is Shelby from Chicago Music Exchange, and today I have with me this very cool 1970 all Rosewood Fender Telecaster. The Rosewood Telecaster became synonymous with one very important guitar player in history, a gentleman by the name of George Harrison. He was in a band called The Beatles. If you don't know who The Beatles are, stop watching this video, look that up, come back to this video after. You know who The Beatles are. Because without it, it's not going to make any sense. The Rosewood Telecaster was designed by Roger Rossmeisel, who uh, was a gentleman who started his career with Rickenbacker and moved to Fender in the mid-60s. And when it came time to do something uh, different, again, Fender went to Roger and he designed this all Rosewood Tele and Strat at the same time. The prototype was given to George Harrison, uh, which is kind of interesting because obviously the Beatles, beginning of their career, were playing Rickenbackers. And um, at the end of the Beatles career, now that we know, George was playing this guitar designed by the same gentleman. Mr. Harrison made this guitar very famous in the last public performance by the Beatles on the Abbey Studio rooftop in 1969. They performed on the rooftop in January, and so George has a very amazing fur coat on. I do not. I wish I did. Someone was supposed to buy it for me, and they did not. So the original version of this guitar is very, very heavy because rosewood is an incredibly dense wood. So what they did uh, by the time this one had rolled around is that you can see this is actually two pieces of rosewood sandwiched together, um, giving this a nice chambered, lighter body. It's unclear how many of these were actually made. They were produced from 1968 to 1972 and they were never very popular. It's only in retrospect that these have become a coveted piece of history. Mm -hmm. 